you like that. <laughs> what the hell is this place? It's my family's warehouse. Oh yeah? Was it the uh, Manson family? <laughs> real funny, Eddie. You got yourself a real sense of humor. I like to think so. You know, I was voted class clown in high school. Yeah, I could see that. Please sit. Let me get that back. Uh, yeah. Oh man, if they could see me now, all those assholes back in high school, they should have realized I should have been voted most likely to succeed. <laughs> yeah, only if they could see you yeah. now. What the hell is this? <laughs> what a douchebag. This guy, I thought that Manson joke was pretty funny. Really? A little bit. Hey, what are you making for dinner tonight? It's your turn to cook. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot. I'm gonna have to stop at the market after this. Yeah, you do that. Hello? Yeah, it's me. It's done. your life. There is no turning back. Excuse me? Those are the lyrics from Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears, 1985. Right. Do you like or love 80s music? Uh, love. That's what I like to hear. Hi, Marty. What can we do for you? Hi, Marty. I'm Ronald. I don't think I'm in the right place, though. Uh, Bella, we got another confused one. Hi, I'm Bella. This is Ronald. Hi, uh, you can call me Ron. Hey, Ron. What can we do for you? Well, I was told to come to this office and ask for BB, but I'm not sure if this is the right one. No, you're in the right place. I'm BB. BB. Get it? Bella Bartolone. Marty, go get Ron here a refreshment. Oh, no, really. It's okay. Oh, come on, Ron. Coffee? Water? Yeah, come on. Look at him. Uh, he lives for this. Okay, um, coffee, black. Alrighty then, coming right up. So, are you uh, here for a thing or to get your taxes done? No. You got a problem that needs taken care of? Yes. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Please, go in that little office right over there. Someone will be with you in a few minutes. That office? Yes, Ron. Right over there. You're gonna be fine. Go ahead. Hey, Claudia. We got a new client in the office over there. Can you take care of him? Sure, sweetheart. No problem. His name is Ron. Okay, I'll, I'll head in there now. Thank you. Hello, Ron. Claudia Capo. Oh, hi. Ron O'Brien. I know you. I was told to come to this office by somebody that I trust completely. Yes, Councilman O'Brien. And to have anyone in politics that you can trust like that is a rare friend. Yes. You're running for mayor, correct? Uh, <laughs> yes, I am. So what can we do for you? 
Well, there's this guy. And uh, here you go, Ron. Black coffee. Thank hi, you. Marty. Oh, hi, Claudia. Uh, guess what? He loves the 80s. That's great. <laughs> uh, no problem. Stay Thanks, late. Marty. Nice guy. Oh, Marty's the best. So, you were saying? Yes. Uh, there is this guy, and I need him to be taken care of. Understand? Yes. He has some shit on me that'll make running for mayor very difficult. Blackmail. Yes. So tell me about this man. Oh, hello. Is it me you're looking for? Lionel Richie? Yes. You love the 80s? Who doesn't? Believe me, I've met some people who don't. Well, those people deserve to be whacked. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Bella, we have uh, another one for Claudia. No, Marty, she's here for Leo. Oh. Leo! Would you like a beverage? Sure, bottled water. Sure, coming right up. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, my Jefferson Starship, 1985. Right again, Marty. Uh, of course, I've never walked. Hi, Leo. All right. Listen, come into my office for a uh, few moments. Hey, Leo, when you get a minute, can I talk with you? Sure, kid. When I'm done with Sarah, okay? Okay. So, it looks like we can handle this to you. Great. You know, I have to say I was a little nervous, but you guys made it seem very professional, so I have a good feeling about this. Well, I'm, I'm glad you feel that way. And remember, full payment up front before anything happens. Yeah, I got it. Is he the one who uh, does it? Leo? No, he does people's taxes. You actually do people's taxes here? Of course, we're accountants. <laughs> <laughs> that thing you need taken care of? Mm. That's done by Marty. What? No, 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 you're busting my balls now. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen your face. It's <laughs> a good one. We'll see you soon. And um, just remember, full payment by the end of the week. Say bye to Ronnie, everybody. See ya, Rob. Fuck up, bro. <laughs> Thank you for your business. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Hey, um, not too bad. How are you? I can't complain. Huh. Come on, Allegra, let's go. Allegra? Like the uh, allergy medicine. Funny, never heard of that one before. Bump into all sorts of comedians today. Hey, Clark. Didn't I see the guy announce that he was running for mayor? Yeah, Ronald O'Brien. Wow. And he hired us for other services? Sure looks that way. <laughs> hey, if you never need his taxes done, you send them my way. Sure. Okay. Well, well, it's Ricky and Lucy. I was thinking more like Jim and Pam. Who was that? You know, like from the office, Jim and Pam. Because we're in an office. Hello? <laughs> I like Mark and Mindy. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> Guys, enough with the TV references. Marty, get me a coffee. Uh, me too. Thanks. Coming right up. Hey, you guys see that guy who just left right there? You yeah. should be doing the next job for him. Where and when? He's got to get the money first. Then we'll go over details. He's running for mayor. Yeah? Yeah, some guy is blackmailing him. They got pictures of him and the wife of a CEO or something like that. Men, all they think is with their little heads. What did I do? Enough, shut up. Hey, if he wins, it'll be great to have the mayor as a friend. Oh shit, I forgot. Hey, Marty. You want to come with me to the market? Uh, Bella, can I uh, go? Sure, I can handle things here. Now, Marty, don't start throwing all kinds of crazy shit in the shopping cart, all right? Oh, I won't. Uh, uh, hey, Jalo, uh, can I drive? You want to drive my car? Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. Come yeah. On. Thank you. <laughs> when Mr. O'Brien's ready to pay, mm -hmm. I'll have him meet you and Angelo in the warehouse with the cash. Okay. You almost ready? 
Yeah, almost. You coming over for dinner, Auntie? Not tonight, honey. But I'll I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Good night. Night. Hey, Bella, come in. Sorry to bother you. No bother. What's going on? Well, I need some advice. Have a seat. Well, more like I need to talk to someone who isn't family. I mean, not blood related. <laughs> Believe me, Leo, you're like family to me. I mean, you've known my family for so long. Oh, yes, a long time. Before you were even born. So, what's, what's the problem? It's not a problem. Well, it could be. There's this guy. Oh, I see. I met him online. On a dating site? Yeah. Bella, you gotta be careful who you meet online. Oh, I know. There's a lot of shady characters out there. Well, I was referring more to your family's line of business. Oh, yeah. That too. But... I've been talking to him on the phone and texting him now for a few weeks. Okay. And he's really nice. And he wants to take me out for dinner. Well, dinner is harmless. You just gotta be careful what you say to him. I know, I know. I'm not stupid. It's just, I don't think he's Italian. Maybe on his mother's side, I don't know. What's his name? It's, uh do boys or something it's uh, d u b o i s dubois huh that's how you pronounce it uh, dubois it's french it also means in the woods in french it's french ah oh, shit <laughs> yeah your family's not going to be very happy about that you know in a way you're lucky your father's in prison tell me about it well listen you're not a child I, I cannot tell you what to do. Your family, on the other hand, well, that's a whole different story. But in the end, you gotta make a decision. He's a nice guy. I feel bad. I should go on at least one date with him. Listen, go to dinner with him and find out about his mother's side. You never know. That's true. Half Italian is better than none at all. It's like the glass is half full kind of thing. Yeah, not, not the same thing. Thanks for listening, Leo. No problem, anytime. And you know, you really are like family. You're like an uncle to me. Oh, thank you. You mean like a fun uncle? A funkle? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao. Hey, wanna go see a movie after this? Maybe, we gotta get the cash first. What's playing? I don't know. We can pick a movie when we get down to the theater. What? How long have you known me? A long time. And when did I ever just like to show up to the movies and not know what I'm going to see? Hey, how you doing? Come on in. Good evening. Nice place. Hey, Allegra. Listen, don't mention the warehouse, don't mention my name. Just give us the cash, say goodbye, and go. Okay. Is it all there? Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I gotta live with that. Good luck with that. Hey, the officer let you know when it's done. Thank you. Hey, asshole, what did I say? Why are you gonna be like that? What? I mean, you don't know, maybe one day the guy's gonna be mad, you don't know. No, you have to have a tough persona for these smucks. And if he becomes mayor, right now he's just a, a client that needs a thing taken care of. Do you still wanna go see a movie? Go by yourself. How you doing? Would you order, kid? Um, call, place an order, uh, cheese and pepperoni. For you? Yeah, for me. 
What's your name? Santino. Santino. Yep. Santino. Yes. Cheese and pepperoni? Yes. There you go. Have a nice night. Yep. Enjoy you your too. pizza. Person. I was a little worried when you asked for my credit card number. <laughs> yeah, that's the number I wanted. <laughs> Interesting place here you chose. Uh, it's like an hour out of the city in the middle of nowhere. Oh, sorry. You, you don't like it? No, no, it's fine. It has its charm. Mm -hmm. Though it does make me wonder, you're not uh, hiding from a boyfriend or anything? No, no. There's no boyfriend. Husband? Are you nuts? I'm too young. Sorry, I'm just nervous. For weeks now, I've been playing over and over in my head what our first date would be like. I just don't want to mess it up. Relax, Jack. It's just the first date, right? Yeah. So, let's just try to get to know each other better. Sure, you're right. I see there's some red wine on the table. Well, I remember you said you liked red. Two new relationships. N new... <clears throat> Friend, ships, new people? I know what you mean. So, you work for the family business? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, yes, yes. It's an accounting office. I guess you could say I'm a receptionist, but it's so much more. Does it get boring? Nah, not really. It's nice working with family. We're close. Your parents work there too? No, my mother passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And my father's in prison, and my brother's on the lam. You're kidding, right? I wish I was. They rob banks. You mean, you mean a bank? No, no, I mean banks, multiple, and a casino. Are you ready to order? Oh, you know, I haven't even looked at the menu yet. We're gonna need about 10 more minutes. <sighs> okay, whatever. You didn't tell me that your father and brother were criminals. I just did. Listen, I'm sorry for being so upfront on the first date. I think this is something you should know. Yeah, it's good to know. Now you, your name is Dubois. What is that? What do you mean? Well, like me, I'm... Bella Bartolone. That's a tag. Right, uh, yeah, uh, Dubois, it's French. Why? Oh, uh, I thought so. Your mother's side isn't Italian by any chance. Nope, they're also French. Uh, I'm half Irish. Oh, Madonna. Is there a problem? No, no. Well, for my family there might be. We're very tight-knit. There's my Aunt Claudia, her sister Allegra, who married my father's brother, my Uncle Angelo, and then I got another brother, Marty, besides my brother Gino, who's on the lamb. But Marty is a sweetheart. He's probably the nicest in the family. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. If you met him, you'd love him right away. And you all work together at the, um, accounting office? Yeah. And there's a longtime uh, friend of the family, Leo Vosa, who also works with us. So, wait, are you saying that your family won't like me because I'm French? No. They don't care what you are. They just wouldn't want me to date you. <laughs> Come on, that's crazy. It's, it's the damn 21st century for Pete's sake. Well, not for them. It, it's a tradition thing. Then what's the point to continuing this? If we got serious, how could you ever take me home to meet them? Listen, I said they wouldn't want me to date you, but it's my life. I do what I want to do. I'm not so sure this will work out, Bella. Let me decide that. Listen, I just thought I'd be honest with you. 
because I really like you and I think you're a very sweet guy. And that's why I had us meet 65 miles away from where we live in this shady ass place. <laughs> well, I really like you. So let's just take things as they come. Day by day. Or until my brother comes back from the lamb and kills you. <coughs> <coughs> All right, where is this waitress? I'm starving. Excuse me, miss. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> okay, so this is the man that Mr. O'Brien wants taken care of. His name is Jack Dubois, senior, not to be mistaken for the son. The son is junior. Yes, Angelo. There's the address. He lives with the wife. It's just the two of them in the house. <clears throat> he used to be a cop. Uh, then he dabbled in politics a little bit. That's how he met Mr. O'Brien. Anyway, now he does PI work, so he chases around cheating husbands, things like that. So, if he goes missing, they'll think one of those dirtbags did something to him. Yeah, sounds like an easy one. Yep. We'll do it tonight. Depends if he's home. We'll go and see. Stakeout? Yeah. Hey. We're gonna have to stop at the Dollar Tree. I wanna get some snacks, okay? Yeah, that's what you need. More snacks. Bella. We'll call you later. Okay. Hey, how thought it with the castle, huh? Hey. Princess Bride, 1987. Yeah, the Dubois Castle. Did she just say Dubois? Yeah, that's that's the next job for the would-be mayor. The older guy, younger guy? Older, why? Just wondering. Dubois. Dubois! Yeah, Jack Dubois. Jack? Yeah, Jack Dubois Sr. What's the matter with you? Nothing. I thought I knew a guy by that name, but he's younger, probably a different guy. Yeah, probably. Uh, hey, listen, I gotta head out early. Uh, Marty, do you think you could handle the phones for me for the last few hours? Uh, sure, no problem. Honey, are you sure you're all right? Oh, I'm fine. I, I just forgot to do something. Bye. That was weird, don't you think? Hey. I never understand women. Did I get any calls? Uh, I don't think so, Leo. Uh, where was Bella rushing off to in such a hurry? I have no idea. <laughs> Marty here is going to be Dubois. handling the calls. That's a fun name to say. Dubois. What's with this Dubois? Dubois. Oh, this is about her boyfriend. What? Boyfriend? Who's boyfriend? Bella, you know, she's been seeing this guy now for a week. She told me about him. His name is Jack Dubois. So I guess you guys found out. I hope she knows who ratted her out because I don't want her thinking that it was me. She told me this in confidence, you know? Wow, she's seeing a French guy? Yeah. Her father's gonna be pissed. Hey, I'll be in my office. Dubois. <laughs> what are you doing that for? We're not that far. I never get to use these. You're pathetic. Smells good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How you doing, huh? Mm -hmm. 
my, is that what I think it is? Yes, it sure is. Mm. Why don't you go wash up and come on back? Deal. From Mr. Dubois. Jack! You have a package! Yeah, yeah I, don't, uh, I don't recall ordering a package. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Up the stairs, lady. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Okay, nobody. Ah! Get down on your knees. Take whatever you want. Package uh, delivery. Jack! Oh, what are you doing? We've already done uh, the package thing. Uh, uh, Jack! Oh. <gasps> Let off, lady, with the screaming door first. Oh! No, no, please, don't do this. Don't do this, please. She'll be fine. I can't say the same thing about you. Let's get him in the trunk. Jack, it's me, again. Listen, call me as soon as you get this. It's me, Bella, in case you forgot who it was.